In this video, we're going to take a look how to make just a simple little hopper wing for like a Dave's hopper or a Schroeder's hopper. Uh, what you need is a turkey feather. Uh, I like the modeled variation. And uh, you need just a pair of scissors and some brush on super glue. Uh, there's other ways to do this. You can use spray on fixative. I know of guys that'll take uh, some spray on fixative and spray the whole feather. Uh, I find it just pretty easy to do, uh, just one by one, just as I need it. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is, uh, depending on the size of the fly that you're tying, will depend on the size of the wing. Uh, usually I use a wing on a hopper about that size or so, but again it just depends on the size. So the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to separate it from the, the main clump of feathers there. Then you're going to want to pull it so that it is kind of perpendicular to this uh, stem. And as I do that I kind of stroke uh, the fibers uh, together. Then the next thing you'll want to do is trim it from the quill there. Then at this point you're ready to uh, glue the, the fibers together. So I just simply take the, the clump and I lay it upside down on a piece of paper. I usually like to uh, glue the underside of the feather. And the brush on super glue is pretty easy to use. You just simply take it and brush it on. And you got to be very careful not to use too much. We're just looking to use a little bit, just enough to kind of coat those fibers and hold them together. And then you simply let that dry and you will have yourself a little wing. And uh, I'll just make it dry a little faster here. And once you have your wing made, it's a little bit more durable. It still has flex to it. As long as you just use uh, a little bit of super glue, you can see here it still has flex to it. It is a little bit more rigid. The next thing to do is to uh, taper the wing. So usually what I'll do is I'll just cut like a, a blunt cut and I'll just kind of cut little notches on the sides just like that. And that is basically the shape of a hopper wing and then you can tie that in uh, to the back of your hopper just like so and then you have a, a pretty durable little hopper wing. Uh, the trick to uh, making them straight like this is when you uh, pull the fibers away from the main clump you pull them all at once and then you pull them kind of perpendicular to the the quill of the feather there and you kind of just stroke them back just like so and uh, that is basically how you get them straight or else they'll want to kind of naturally uh, curve like this uh, but you don't want that when you're tying a hopper you want a nice straight uh, wing just like that so that's how you make a pretty simple little hopper wing very easy to do uh, the trick I think is, at least uh, the ones I create, is to with the Zappa Gap brush on glue. This is an indispensable uh, little tool when you're tying flies. I use it on just about all my flies. And uh, you can find the turkey feathers as well as the Zappa Gap on our website in theriffle.com.